about doing non-union projects or joining the union right now. Because someday I'm going to get an amazing agent or manager. And someday I'll have plenty of auditions for union paying films, television and commercials. Which means that someday I'll naturally start booking and working so much that everyone in Hollywood will know my name. And I'll be financially set even without union residuals. So that someday when I decide to get married or have kids, there will be plenty of money for all those older people things. Like a pension. I mean, college funds or buying a house, no problem. Much less worry about a pension in retirement. <laughs> but it's funny how someday really sneaks up on you kind of fast. I can't believe I'm older in my 30s. Man, someday I got here quick. And then one day, the whole entertainment world, the economy, the technology changed. And the promise of someday doesn't quite arrive as planned. You didn't get those great reps and bookings haven't added up to stardom yet. And someday, you wake up and you find out that you have cancer. And I was really surprised how expensive healthcare would be someday without my parents' help. So if I get sick someday, we've got a great plan to get us through the rough patches. Then one day, my husband got laid off when I turned 40. But yet, I've continued working all the way through, getting union residuals. Which is why I can stand here today. Still be able to work toward the possibility of someday. Someday comes for all of us, like it or not. Even if you think you're too young to think about it. So how will your someday take care of you? Two, three, four decades from now. If you don't start caring about the reality of your someday, today.